This is a debate that I must confess I once had myself. <laughs> when I was seven. Former President Barack Obama clowned Senate candidate Herschel Walker, who, of course, is running in Georgia in the upcoming runoff that is happening on Tuesday against Raphael Warnock, the Democrat. And this is just a great clip. And I'm also going to show you the context for this, which includes a recent ad by Raphael Warnock, a really good ad showcasing just how absurd uh, Herschel Walker is. And I'll also get to some updates from this race and who is expected at this point to take it based on polling, which of course doesn't mean everything. Things can change. But first, let's play this clip. This is uh, pretty funny. Um, again, Obama continues to be one of the better performers, I guess you could say, rhetorically. So let me show you uh, this clip here. Now, if... If you had forgotten what I said the last time, it's okay because you just have to wait a minute. He reminds you every time he opens his mouth. I mean, every day. Every day he comes up with something. Every day. Since the last time I was here. <laughs> Since the last time I was here, Mr. Walker has been talking about issues that are of great importance to the people of Georgia. Like whether it's better to be a vampire or a werewolf. This is a debate that I must confess I once had myself. When I was seven. Then I grew up. In case you're wondering, by the way, Mr. Walker decided he wanted to be a werewolf. Which is great. As far as I'm concerned, he can be anything he wants to be. Except for a United States Senator. So this clip kind of reminds me of when uh, Obama clowned Donald Trump years ago. Uh, I think that was at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. And there was a lot of blame to go around, but you, Mr. Trump, recognized that the real problem was a lack of leadership. And so ultimately, you didn't blame Little John or Meatloaf. <laughs> you fired Gary Busey. <laughs> and these are the kind of decisions that would keep me up at night. But it, it reminded me of that. We're just kind of... Um, you know, this person who's trying to be a politician, and at the time, Trump was, of course, not yet a president, but clowning this individual who's trying to be a serious person, taking seriously in, in politics, but what they're talking about is just complete absurdity. So this is, if you, you must have seen this clip, but if you didn't, you're going to see uh, it here in this ad by uh, Raphael Warnock. So I think this is one of his Really, one of the maybe only ads he's put out, at least at this length. This is two minutes long. But it is a, this is a great way, I think, to uh, go after his opponent here. You ever watch a stupid movie late at night, hoping going to get better, don't get better, but you keep watching it anyway? Because the other night, the other night I was watching this movie, I was watching this movie called Fright Night, Freak Night, or some type of night, but it was about vampires. I don't know if you know vampires are cool people. What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> is he serious? Is he for real? But I'm going to tell you something that I found out. A werewolf can kill a vampire. Did you know what that? What is he talking I never about? Knew that, so I don't want to be a vampire anymore. I want to be a werewolf. Oh my gosh. He's talking about vampires and werewolves right now. <laughs> Y'all serious about this, right? So I've been telling this little story about this bull out in the field. What with six cows. earth? And three of them are pregnant. There's no substance. There's nothing. So you know you got something going on. It makes me want to laugh, and then it makes me think we're in trouble. But all he cared about is kept his nose against the fence, looking at three other cows that had been blown to him. Now all he had to do is eat grass. This video is ridiculous. I just 
35 seconds of my life I'll never get back. Why would I want someone like that leading the state of Georgia? I was good at it, decided to float over to China, bad at it. Unbelievable. So when China gets out good air, their bad air gotta move. It's all the same air. <laughs> Not only does it make no sense, I don't even understand what he thinks he's saying. So it moves over to our good air space. <laughs> And now we gotta clean that back up. I sit and watch these on Twitter and I'm like, what the heck is this guy talking about? Like literally, what is he talking about? He's completely unqualified for this really, really serious job. No one's watching this and being like, oh man, that guy's got it together. And sometimes like I read through the comments because I'm like, is anybody actually understanding or are we just sitting here wasting time? It is embarrassing. Let's call it what it is. It is embarrassing. They just care about getting a yes man. Somebody that had just punched the button. I think it's a risk to me and millions of Georgians to put this man in a position of power. Let's call it what it is. This is embarrassing as hell. At all. I mean, well, you know. That was great. I hope, look, I'm not in Georgia, so I don't know if they have a shorter version of this for television, but I hope there's like a 30 second version of this, because uh, I think this is a good way to present Herschel Walker, is have people reacting to him, <laughs> talking about vampires and bulls or whatever the hell the other one was. I don't, <laughs> it's all so absurd. And so one lady here somewhere makes a comment about how they just want a a, a yes man. I forget who it was. Um, I think it was her. But, uh, and it, it's... And which is exactly right. And it's worth pointing out that Raphael Warnock has voted with Bernie Sanders on a few amendments that the rest of the Democratic Party has not. So Warnock is, has actually been, in some ways you could say, a surprisingly solid Democratic senator in that he has, in some cases, stood up for the working class on votes in votes that otherwise um, are not supported by the larger Democratic Party. So show, I guess the point being here that he showcases that he has not just towed the line with whatever you know party leadership is telling him to do, that he actually in some cases has worked or tried to vote against what his party has voted for because he stands with um, what he thinks is actually the right thing to do. Now, let's get some updates here on this race. So Politico here has this piece, three takeaways from the big early voting numbers in Georgia Senate runoff. So there has been some big early voting numbers in Georgia. And uh, if you go through this piece, they go into it deeper. But they say here, voters have flocked to the polls in a condensed early voting period, especially black voters and voters in Democratic strongholds. So there are record, uh, a record number of early votes right now in this runoff. And it appears to be benefiting Democrats to this point. Again, things can change. We don't know. But right now, it's looking pretty good for Warnock. And based on polling here, it's also looking good for Warnock. So Warnock leads, I believe, in each of these polls except for one here from Phillips Academy, where uh, Walker's up by one. But the rest of them, Walker is uh, up or tied here from uh, Frederick Polls on the 23rd. But uh, otherwise, he is leading in each of these polls. So it's still very close, as you can see. Just a few percentage points here. So it's not like a blowout or anything. But uh, which, let's be honest, like it's it's good to see Walker or Warnock ahead of Walker here, but it should be a blowout. The the, the fact that Raphael that sorry that um Herschel Walker is doing as well as he is, and that it got to this point to a runoff at all, is pretty sad. Just looking at who the candidate is, and we're gonna find out, I guess, in just uh almost a few days now. Who will come out senator in Georgia?